Job 3.16 The Lord also shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Dita Learn. And Waking Israel 2. This is going to be a short video about, you know, homosexuality slash being gay, man. Alright, man. Yeah, all praise to Yahweh, Shimei Shai, and hopefully this video will help someone. Yeah. Kala Yahweh, Shimei Shai. Alright. So well, this is Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind is an abomination. So, translation for that is, if you're a man, you shouldn't lie with another man as if she was a woman. So don't pretend a man is a woman. All right, simply put. All right. Let's go to another verse. This is Vickers 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, so man lying with another man, as he lie with a woman, see the previous verse, so it's the same thing. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Wow. So, of course we don't do that today because of modern day society but yo if the father was here or Christ was here man <laughs> man it wouldn't be looking good alright this is Romans 1 and 26 and this is Romans 1 and 27 that is why Yahweh abandoned them to their shameful desires. Keyword their shameful desires. Even the women turned against their natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. Now this is for the lesbians. Women having sex with women. The father abandoned them. But the father literally abandoned them to do these shameful desires. Wow. Wow, okay. It's Romans 1 and 27. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, so the normal thing would be a man and a woman, as it says, and the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, so men and female, Adam and Eve, right, burned with lust for each other, men did shameful things with other men. Mm -hmm. And as a result of this sin, Okay, so this is a sin now. As a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserved. And remember, what was it? Um, the verse up, 26. That is why Yahweh abandoned them to the shameful desires. So whatever this penalty is that they suffered within themselves, is, the Father left them to suffer this penalty. That's... <sighs> Boy, that's that's something. All right, this is First Corinthians six and nine. Or do you not know that the wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived. Neither the sexual or moral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who have sex with men. So this sin of being gay, homosexual, whatever you want to call it, rainbow community, LGBTQ, making up these a million genders just to justify your actions or your sins <laughs> even though it's not justified the father just said you're not going to get into the kingdom bro it's, it's literally that simple will not inherit the kingdom of God nor men who have sex with men I man I hope this helps someone gain some understanding maybe put away this shameful sin and yeah 
Shalom, shalom.